down to 20. And I ain't got time for no fake ass shit, nigga. I'm straight thug. One, two, three. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the challenge. Your boy Robert here, YouTube on the budget. Back with another video. Man, I don't know who. Hey, guys. I don't know who this guy was in the RT. He had a black RT. Guys. I'm not talking down on nobody's car. But stop trying to race an RT against a freaking Hellcat Red Eye. Like, I'm not finna waste my gas, bro. Like. Come on, man. I'm not finna waste my gas. Um, but I'm about to go get my wife's car in line. I don't know if you see my preview, one of my previous videos where I got her tires replaced. I still need to go back and get my factories from my charger. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go get uh, her car in line. And it's going to be a waste of money because, honestly, the car is riding straight right now ever since I got the tires replaced. But I just want to make sure she's 100% okay. Uh, and uh, these tires are very expensive, so I do want to um, keep these mugs intact. But before I do that, man, I'm going to go to my taco spot. I don't suppose to be eating this, but I'm about to get me some freaking tacos. Uh, today ain't Tuesday, but I'm going to eat me some tacos. Uh, he don't have nobody. So I can eat my tacos while while I'm getting my uh well while I'm getting my wife Hellcat aligned. So I've been to this alignment shop, it's right by the crib. Uh but I'm gonna go get these tacos real fast before two o'clock. I mean uh, twelve o'clock because usually at twelve o'clock the construction workers it has it packed. Man, my wife needs a sunroof in this mug, bro. It don't matter what I do. It, this is not a YouTube type of car, bro, at all. Like, not at all. But yeah, let me go get these tacos real fast, man, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, you know what? I came to this shop a while back. It's because I got my brake, my brake pads uh, done in my, I have my brake pads done in my uh, V6 charger, and it was making a lot of squeak noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a lineman, lineman right here. I don't think she need it. I don't think it's gonna be as bad, um, but, Man, $67 is worth me saving a $700 pair of tires, man. So the tires both cost $700. Now y'all can actually see the front ones. These was way better than my actual ones and then the, the rear ones, man. So if you look now, the tires look damn near brand freaking new. Still, I want to get her the brake pads, man, but she don't want to do the freaking brake pads for some odd reason. But I need to clean these damn tires. Right? These tires are freaking hideous. So these are the ones that was on the rear. That's the one she actually did a burnout. If you don't remember, here's the burnout she done in these. And I shouldn't have let her do these burnouts. I shouldn't let her do the burnout because we kept these tires. So I shouldn't have let her do that. But here's the actual new ones right here. So I'm going to go in here and see how much it... Well, I don't really care how much it costs. But I'm going to go in here and um, get her to get alignment. And then I'm going to fill her gas tank up, man. So that's how you take care of your wife, bro. That's how you take care of your wife. Damn, me walking off. Look at this crap. Her damn front lip falling off. Oh, there you go. It popped back off. All right, never mind. I got to go get my mask. And I want you to use hand sanitizer. And you got to, you can't use cash, which is all good. I use cars anyway. Let me go get my mask, though. Man, that mud looks so nice and pretty, bro. I did good by getting my wife this car. I did real good. All right, guys. So he's gonna check on see if it needs um, both front and rear, and then uh, we we'll go from there. So we'll see. Everything uh, backed up right now. 
Hey man, they got this clean Apollo over here. That Apollo is clean right there, man. I, I would love to have something like that in the collection. Um, I don't know. That mug is nice. I'll put some uh, big. Huh? Your well, I just bought it for my wife last month. A yeah, it's a red eye too. It's the faster. It's like right underneath the demon. It'll make you go faster if you want. What you do? Tunes? Everything. We tune, we... Hey, do y'all do motor swaps? Yeah. Guys, look at this Mopar here. So I have a um a wide body scat charger too. So how much? It's a, Whatever, just tell us what you want to do, and we'll do it. Okay. We fabricate, we do our own rear ends, we build two cats. So do y'all, so y'all do rear ends too? Anything we So do. when I get my single cap, it's getting tubbed in right now. I want to do the gears. I want to do a motor swap. I want to do a 6-0. Okay, come here, I'll show you something. What year's your... It's uh, an 04. Oh, it's a well, GMC. Yeah, ain't no I want to do a motor swap. Okay. At least a 6.0, maybe. I thought you meant, I thought you meant completely swap, but uh, it's kind of crowded because we had the... What's this? Amp what is this, Ampala? No, it's a Bel Air, huh? 60 model Bel Air, yeah. 69 Bel Air? 60. 60 Bel Air? So y'all do respirations and everything. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Dang, this thing got the old inspection, inspection, and registration. <laughs> Dang, from 1995. Jeez. Performance unlimited, yes, right? Sir. No. But I think you got another one in the front. No, it doesn't. My kids locked it all down for the hurricane. Oh yeah, yeah. And nothing really happened. <laughs> I'm glad. Ooh, so this is a 6-0? Yeah. See, I want something like that. They got long tube headers in it too. Yeah, we, we build our own motor mounts and we we this is a 94 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome frame underneath this 60 mile Bel Air. We had to cut we have to So y'all get the motor in I don't have to go get the motor or nothing. We buy well we want you to build a car one time. We don't yeah. want you to Think about what you want and start building it and then say, oh no, I want this or that. Okay, so we'll just sit down and see what we want to go from there. Um, yeah. Okay. There's the frame out from under this car right there. And that's the factory frame of 60 uh, Bel Air. That is all rusted up too. 60 Bel Air. It's smaller, huh? It's more no, it's, it just, the <coughs> Coronavirus! Back up, up until 64, they had an X, X body frame. When it, people get T-boned from the side, it always kill everybody in the car. Oh. So we put the wide frame on it, we get the motor mounts, we, we build our own exhaust. It's Are y'all selling an Impala out there? We build our own oh, exhaust. Oh, damn, and a drive shell. Y'all selling an Impala out there? Yeah, we... How much you selling that Black Impala? 10 grand? Hell no, to the no, 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 yeah, to the no. But, uh, we build our own motor mounts, we... Cameron and I went and measured this car out when it was still sitting in the field and built the frame and the complete, did the complete frame before we ever went and got the car. Okay, yeah, this is, that's, so that's a 6 -0 right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that's I... That's all we build usually is 6 -0s and 7 0s Okay. But, uh, so this one... The old school stuff, you know, this got a 400 small black in it, or 406 is what's got in it. Okay. Truck We're doing all the trucks for the long day. Oh, this one's nice. We, we hide all the wires when we get done. You don't see any wires. Like this one, we hid the wires on it. This is when you just see the motor. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as I get off of doing the suspension work, I need to come over here. So he's uh, shooting flames, huh? Bad 300. That's 300, nice. That's 1500 horsepower. Right? This one's 1500? Yeah, this. Oh, that one's 1500. It's Camaro. That. Oh, this is 1500? This mother nice. 
Yes, I have air ride on mine as well. See, this is something I like, something nice and... We're putting baby bear in this one and cleaning it up the engine compartment and getting rid of the wiring and, you know, we put hydro boost on and stuff. So how long was something like that uh, take oh, for an uh, engine swap? Because you got to see what you're working with first. The machine shop is the main thing that's going to get in trouble. Because anytime you want to, uh, anytime you're taking the motor, you know, got to have it tuned. We've got our own in house tuner. Okay. But when you're building the motor, you, wanna, you don't want to just throw it together. You want to get it balanced. Yeah. Get that side of the hood, I'll take this off. This is our, our shop car, it's a, it's a street car. Fiberglass. Oh, the whole car is. No, the whole car is. Oh. That's a 468, got a 400 turbo, and a 4,000 stall. The transmission's got a trans brake in it. 488, 488 gears. Man, how much this is pushing? This is a straight race car. Oh, uh, this is a street car. Oh, this is a street car? Yeah, it's got an airship transmission. I mean, airship. Man, I know that seat hurts your ass. That's why the pillow's in there. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that pillow. But we built the roll cage for it and all that. That's a unlimited performance, guys. Yeah, performance unlimited. Oh, uh, performance, uh, performance unlimited. Oh, this is a T-top thing too, huh? This is nice, man. Drag radios. This is nice. It's a house. Dude. Yeah, I can't wait. No, I've been looking for somebody to put my uh, motor in. You want to put it back on real fast? I've been waiting for somebody. See how, we, see how you don't see any wires? No, I like that. I like that. It looks really it good. Cleans it cleans it up. Cleans it up, yeah. Project cars, those, those out there. Oh, cars you can buy from Project Cars. Okay. Performance on them, too. This ship, this Ford pickup right over here, we're going to put a uh, Crown Victoria front end on there. That's 056. Oh, yeah. Now I really like this in Paula, man. It's pretty much stock or what? It's not, or what? Insurance stuff, you know, it's lower and all that. It's got a 350 in it. 10K. So this one runs and everything? Yeah. Okay. I like this one, Paula, man. We got to clean it up. Good old car. Yeah. Get some good paint. Yeah, That's I like my this. son's Mustang. I don't like Mustangs. He's got, <laughs> got full both of them. You'll run with your LCAT. Oh, it will? Yeah. yeah it's nice. I like this Ford, man. Ford 100, right? It's a 100. So what he got going to his? We got full bolt-ons. Full bolt-ons. See, Mustang, I'm going to tell you one thing about Mustangs, man. You can do bolt-ons. These things are fast as hell. This, this car will run with your LCAT. What? Corvette. Oh, 79 wow. Corvette. 69,000 action miles. Just Damn. A, I bought it. In, uh, we bought it from a guy in Michigan and flew to Indianapolis where he met us at the airport and we drove it home. Oh, wow. So this is bone stock. Nothing's been. Nothing. I mean, it's a Conker's level. That means every nut, bolt, screw, clip, washer is factory. Shovel. That's awesome. And it runs like a charm too. No, it's got a. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> they won't outrun a V6 Mustang. This was the gas crunch years, and these cars were dogs. dogs. Dang, this won't be the V6 Mustang. No, it's a. They trust me. They had 210 horsepower back in the day. Yeah, but that was a lot. Back 79, then. 80, 81, yeah. 82. But that was a lot back then. We had those. Oh. Uh, and then how much this one push you? Good Yeah. And it's got a trans brake in it. We we see their See that? Look at the difference in the tire. Oh, you know what? Yeah. That looks factory, though. No, no, we do that kind of stuff. Oh, look at the difference, guys. Look how thick it is right here, and then look how thin it is, the cut. It looks good. I took four inches out of the frame, and we tailored it around where it doesn't even look like that happened. Right here, but. Yeah. Had to, had to, oh, you got a card? 
Oh, I stay right down the street. It don't matter. I could just come over here anytime. You're yeah. welcome in our shop. As a matter of fact, we welcome our customers to come and participate because we want you to know about your car. Yes, and then I do YouTube, so that'd be a good thing too as well. Oh, now I see what you're talking about now. Dang, got coilovers all the way around. It. Yeah, Damn. it's a hoss. Did y'all re uh, position that battery? Or is it always right there? Well, we built about we put the Optima won't normally fit in. We had to do some adjustments. Kevin's gonna have to take it off. Uh, did, did you do coilovers or something? Yeah, we got coilovers. Front and back. Yeah. yeah, this okay. I see what you're talking about. Now I ain't never seen this. Is like a racing. This I ain't never seen one. This, we got to put one of these in that 56. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, man, I can't wait to come over here. Yeah, so, as soon as I get it back, I'm coming straight over here. Get our name in there when you're talking about it, so. Yeah, oh, you can shout your stuff out right now, man. Oh, go ahead no. and say it. I'm good. Come on, go ahead. Okay. Performance Unlimited. We're, we're Performance Unlimited. We build anything, make anything go faster, and we'd love to have y'all bring your cars back. Yeah, and I want to bring my truck by, guys, when I get it. So look at this Camaro we're bringing out right now. Yeah, that's what it's like a seven inch lift in the back. I like how clean your stuff is, man. I want to tell my homeboy to bring his stuff over here. Oh, sure. Let me, let me call him right now. Damn. He said my shit gonna be like 650 horsepower. Yeah, that's, that's guys so he did say the rear and the front needed it I didn't think he did but uh, he might be lying to me I don't know but it's still best safe than sorry uh, as you can see it's actually on the alignment machine right now uh, my wife just called me uh, asked me where I'm at I know she want her car back let me uh let me FaceTime her real fast Wow, now she ain't asking. What's up? You, mu you must want your car back. Uh, you know I want my car back. <laughs> you can't do nothing in this truck. What you mean you can't do that? Look, I'm taking care of you though. Look. Like, I can't go nowhere to do this. But see, I'm taking care of your car though. You see, I'm getting everything fixed. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I appreciate it, but you can't do nothing in your truck. What you mean? You can go anywhere you can go in the truck. Why you say that? You know you can't go nothing nowhere in this yeah, truck. You gotta watch out for freaking curb. You gotta yeah. watch out for this. You can't go through curbs. You can't go through curbs. So, <laughs> that shit sound horrible. <laughs> hey, uh, you need a, a front and a rear alignment. So that's what they're doing right now. You don't care. You don't care as long as you got your car. All right, babe. Talk to you later. I said you need. Yeah, don't hit no curves. Talk to you later. Just like 
that we are done. Wifey car. It's officially done. I don't know what y'all seen. I don't know what happened. Um, so we're officially done. This is how it was uh, when he did everything. And this is how it is now. Um, everything is currently good. So that was the beginning. This is him working on it, driving it and all that stuff. And this is current. So everything is green. So she did need an alignment. Uh, I didn't think she needed one, but the steering wheel straight and we finna see how everything is now. I'm about to go fill up her gas tank and then drop her car off because she keeps calling me, asking me for her car. Uh, I don't understand a big deal. I think she think I'm playing around in her car and all that, but I just sat here and got her damn tires done and she tripping. I don't know what's wrong with this woman, bro. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. I don't know why she tripping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why she don't want me in her damn car. <laughs> Cause I'll be in this mud be playing. I'll be play playing, you know what I'm saying? I'll be playing. <laughs> oh man, huge shout out to uh, Performance Unlimited, man. Um, I'm really gonna do some business with them, man. I like their work there. I like how they clean up their motor. I was telling Corey, I called Corey and told him he needs to take his stuff over there. Their motor work looks freaking good. So huge shout out to them. I will, y'all will be seeing me do business with them in the future. Uh, we was talking about what I wanted to do. He said if he gets a six, he'll get a rebuilt 6.0 and then it, it, it automatically go to a 6.2. I told him I want like between 550 to 600 horsepower and I want to drive the car. I want it to be like a daily driver, but I'm not going to drive it every day, but I want it to be to a, part, a point where I can daily drive it or if somebody want to come play, I can come play with them. You know what I'm saying? No homo. But other than that, man, I see y'all when I get to the crib and I'll let my wife test drive it and go from there and all that good stuff. All right, guys. So, hey, Jayla, give me the battery. Give me the bat the battery. All right, guys. So I tricked my wife. I told her I want her to see how it feels, her new alignment. And she told me I can feel my alignment when I drive it. I'm like, no, I'm finishing the video. But I'm, I, I got it in 797. Shh, don't tell her. I got it in 797. Though. Man, this alignment wasn't bad, man. 70 bucks, dude. I like that. That's not bad. Thank you, Hector. At Vibe Auto Sports. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to take my, uh, my, I'm going to take my, uh, charger there, too. A lot of people don't like that line charges with because it got air suspension. They scary, but I'm going to take that mug over there. Yeah, guys, I want to see how she react with this, uh, car freaking uh 797 <laughs> i want to trick her ass is she coming right now she coming yeah i be acting a fool when i do drive this car i ain't gonna cap i be acting a fool and that's why i don't need a hellcat bro well i think i do that because i don't get to drive it often so i think that's the reason why um i actually do that but hey she fit get in the car uh i'm gonna come back and record I hope she don't think she gonna. You're on the wrong side, babe. You're on the wrong side. Let me switch this battery out real quick. All right, so two new tires in the rear. Move the rear front, the rear to the front. You said two new tires in the rear. And then we moved the ones that you did a burnout. We should have done now because that's the ones we used for the front because those were better than mine. So I think the ones that I was putting on here for mine was the ones I actually did the burnout in. Dre got the <laughs> damn good ones. Oh, because you don't really check. Yeah, I just hurry up and gave it to him. 
Um, so yeah. and then we got an alignment. So after before uh, before we, after you drive and before we get somewhere, I want to fill your gas tank up too. So I just want to see you see it. I want to see if you see a difference. You probably won't. Um, I didn't think you needed alignment, but when he showed me the paperwork, you did. You can tell that guy don't move. That that guy don't stay there no more. The grass is horrible though. Like, this girl is tripping. I was making a video. I'm like, she tripping. She want this car back. And you ain't even going nowhere. That's the crazy part. Of it. I was going to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be out for a little bit, but I'm like, in your truck, I can't be out. You can be out? And Giselle got mad. I'm like, girl, if I take this truck home. You should throw the charger. I ain't even talking about you. <laughs> hey, guys. So I cut the kill switch off on the airbag so she could drive my truck. Oh, shit. I'm gonna eat up the inside tire because it's a sports car. It is just how it is. It's like a street. Yeah. She ain't touched it for like five seconds. It's been longer than five seconds. It's like a street, though. It did good. Hey, you didn't notice you was in uh, 797? Not really. I had it 797 just to see if you see a difference. You didn't even notice nothing. Ooh, I hope you don't get pulled over. That it was only like 50. Oh, he coming too. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the video, man. So I... She did that on purpose. What are you talking about? Um, that's the end of the video, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Got the wifey uh alignment and I found the shop to take my single cab to for the motor work. And yeah. Other than that, man, it's Rob Use on a budget. Make sure you go to my wife YouTube channel, Living with Tiff, and her uh, Instagram, SRT Red Eye Tiff, man. Thank you for watching, man. It's Rob Use on a budget. Peace.